All right, I'm out here on my uh, camping trip, getting ready to start, uh, looking for some uh, gold here in the creeks. But uh, right before I was ready to leave, I got a bag of pay dirt from Vendetta Prospecting in the mail, so I brought that with me. Figured I'd pan it out up here in the forest instead of uh, at home uh, on a desk. So uh, let's check it out. All right, here's the bag of pay dirt right here from Vendetta Prospecting. Uh, it's the Superstition pay dirt. It's supposed to have 1.5 plus grams of gold. So uh, let's pan that out and see how we do. All right, in the box that the pay dirt came in, there was also a Vendetta Prospecting channel sticker. So this is actually my very first channel sticker. Um, if you have a channel and you want me to sport one of your stickers, uh, go ahead and send me an email, rookiegoldprospector at gmail.com, and I'll get you my shipping information. Now right, I'm going to go ahead and open up the package here and uh, I'm going to go ahead and classify it. Um, the only classifier I got right now is a 30 mesh. I don't know how much small stuff is in here, um, but uh, let's go ahead and uh, get it all classified down. All right, so yeah, not not too much smaller stuff here. That won't take very long to pan out. This this is probably going to be a pretty easy pay dirt, um, based on the fact that you know there's not much uh, small stuff in there. I'm gonna go ahead and put the small stuff in the smaller pan, and um, let's go ahead and take a look through the bigger stuff. See if we got any fat nuggets or anything poking out. Looking through it here. I uh, think he was kind enough to throw some pyrite in there for me, so. Oh wow, there's a flat little picker right there. Nice. It's pretty heavy. I know it's actually pretty thin, but it's pretty good size. Let me see if anything else stands out in here. Quite a bit of pyrite. I don't see really any larger gold in here, not too much. Except that one big piece. So, um, it's gonna go ahead and uh, pan out the smaller stuff real quick since there's a lot less of it. Oh, <laughs> I didn't even see this uh, terminated uh, quartz crystal here, so that's pretty cool. All right. Oh, there's another little piece. That would also classify as a picker right there. All right, let's get to panning. So uh, this pan I got here, this 10 inch, it's got a much smaller bottom than the pans I'm used to. Um, so it's a little bit different to use so I'm trying to figure that out So that's what I'm gonna do today is get some practice with this uh, smaller bottoms pan here, so Let's get all the material wet And get it all stratified here I this is pay dirt's from Arizona, so I don't know if These are uh, from a dry washer or what it's got some like grassy material in there a little bit some type of fibrous organics so get everything sunk to the bottom here and let's see what we can do here Pretty easy panning. I, I'm not anticipating a bunch of black sand in this, just from what I'm seeing so far. You have to be a little bit careful not to pan all the way to the back line. So on a bigger bottom pan, I wouldn't pan it down as far, and then I would just, you know, kind of do a backwashing uh, method to 
clean it up. This pan doesn't give you quite as much room to do the little backwashing method. So I think it's a slightly different technique once you get down to the last little bit. can go ahead and kind of, I don't know, let's see how backwashing works with this stuff. Just take a little peek here. Oh yeah. Oh wow. Look at that. Wow. I mean, there is quite a bit of smaller stuff here. Wow. Go ahead and pan this down the rest of the way real quick. All right, got a nice little smile there. get into the last little bit so supposedly with this method you can clean up most of the black sand you know just by panning a lot easier if you guys are seeing anything shiny going over the edge there it is the pyrite I can see it but see now the gold showing up on the back line so gotta take my time a little bit more and just kind of clean it up the best I can. And you know what? From this point, I'm going to go ahead and backwash. Um, it is a small bottom pan, but I mean, honestly, sorry that I'm left-handed. I'm recording from the opposite side. So I know when I tap, it kind of blocks everybody's view there. All right. Got a nice little smile. Suck that up. All right, all right. so I'm gonna split the bigger stuff up into two batches, since I got this small pan here. Oh. Wow, he put a lot of pyrite in there. A lot of pyrite. Well, thanks, buddy. The pyrite is actually a lot lighter than the gold, though, so. I'm thinking pyrite is kind of a similar density to, you know, iron oxides, like hematite and magnetite, but I'm not really sure. They could be completely different densities, but I do know the pyrite is a lot lighter. It does seem lighter than black sand, to tell you the truth, so I don't know. I think the iron sulfides are a lot lighter than the uh, iron oxides for some reason, but not 100% sure. I'm not a geologist. Although I'm not seeing very much chunkier black sand and this stuff all of the black sand was tiny there's the gold showing up all right so now we're going to do the little backwash i mean the pyrite is gigantic after looking at the color of this pyrite and comparing it to the uh a specimen that i found that you guys will see i think in a different video i'm thinking it's possible that the pyrite that I have in the specimen I found on the ground out here is actually, uh, could be chalcopyrite because it's a lot more gold colored. I don't know, maybe iron pyrite coloration uh, varies quite a bit. Not 100% on that. All right, I think I got all of that snuffered up. All right, try to pan the rest of this out. Last batch here, and then we'll do a snuffer dump. Go ahead and 
take out my terminated uh, quartz there. You know what, I'm gonna go ahead and get a little more comfortable here. This is the pan that's got the nuggets in it, or pickers, or flakes, or whatever you wanna call them. I do have my scale with me, um, but I'm gonna have to find a nice flat spot to set it up. Starting to see gold, so I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to the smooth side here. There's my big nugget showing up there. That's nice. I mean, I don't think this is placer gold. I think this might be load gold because, I mean, that nugget or flake, it does not look like it's water worn really at all. Oh yeah, we got a decent amount in here. Get the pie right out of there. There's actually quite a bit of larger pieces in there. You can see. I got the camera a little further away than usual when I do pay dirt, but it's just kind of hard to get it set up here when you're outside with my camera set on a tree, tree log, tree stump. So, got this picker here. It, uh, it's definitely uh, load gold. I mean, it hasn't been in the water, so. Um, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do a snuffer dump and show you what I got. Alright, so here's what we ended up with here. Still got to dry it out and weigh it, but I mean, that's a pretty big nugget right there. That's a good sized nugget right there. Um, so I got those two good sized pieces. There's some other pickers in there too. So, not bad. Wow, that's some pretty looking stuff. All right, let's weigh these guys up right here. Let's, let's see what the big, big guy here is. There's a little bit of a breeze out here, so. It's fluctuating a little bit. We'll call that .87. Nice. I uh, think I tear it off. Oh, see, so not went back to the zero. All right, let's try this one out here. And that's point two, point two one, and the two nuggets together. One point oh seven. So again, I'm guaranteed a gram and a half here, and that is definitely more than point four three. I mean, there's no doubt in this world that I got a. I got a pretty good bag here. Um, I may have actually done better than spot price on this one. I'm not sure. Once this is uh, dried up the rest of the way, uh, we'll find out. Okay, so uh, it's starting to sprinkle, so I better hurry up here. But I uh, got everything all dried out. And there we go. And. One point, oh man, this thing is fluctuating like crazy. Well, it's over 1.5. So, this thing can't make up its mind, but there's a breeze and it's starting to sprinkle. So, uh, that's what you get when you do pay dirt outdoors.
not bad I'm pretty pleased uh, you know it it contained uh, more than what I was promised and it got that nice fat nugget right there I mean